All right, guys, this is going to be a quickie haul. Uh, this is the big uh, Haller Hustle there for uh, mid-June 2015 um, because basically it's, it's strange how life works. We announced that we're going to be doing a community project where uh, six of us, I think it's six of us, are each going to take a chapter starting on Sunday that's coming up. That would be uh, 21st, June 21st. And we'll each be taking a chapter of, well, there we go, uh, each be taking a chapter of uh, Craven's Last Hunt, okay? So, this series is by, you know, Mike Zeck. Where's the famous cover? That's the famous cover. So, Mike Zeck drew all six of these issues. And uh, he's going to be at Heroes Con, and I wasn't going. Heroes Con is Charlotte, North Carolina. Things have worked out. <laughs> Not going to have a lot of fundage to go on, but I've got a ride. I got enough money to get a ticket. I have a little bit of money to play around with. Uh, you know, probably work some things out there. And uh, so, if I did end up buying things at Heroes Con, I didn't want to put it all in one video. So this is what I've got this month thus far, and it's really accumulated, man. Went to Christiansburg with uh, a viewer, Scott Connor. Uh, He's been on a show or two, uh, Shit Gets Real. You can go back and, and look at it. It was his birthday. Got down there, and we hit a, uh, after dinner, we hit a Goodwill and stuff. And this is everything I found for a dollar in that Goodwill, okay? All right. Found an undersized, practically brand new uh, edition of Sin City, uh, the Big Fat Kill, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's an odd size, but it's all in there and complete. So that was kind of cool to find. That was a dollar. This was a dollar, a light brand new edition of Frank Miller's Ronin. Uh, it's in better shape than the one I have, and I got mine through a book club. But I think this is like a ninth printing or something, right? Uh, so that's this is fantastic. And again, it was really strange because here lately I've been picking up J. Michael Straczynski's Rising Stars that came out around 99, 2000 and stuff. And, uh, you know, I've got a good chunk of it. Um, I think it only ran for like 25 issues or something. I've got like the first 15, maybe an odd one here and there. And I uh, turned around and at the Goodwill, for a dollar, found the novelization of Rising Stars uh, based on J. Michael Straczynski's, um, you know, comics, the first couple. And this is volume one, so maybe they, you know, novelized the whole thing. It's just strange. I've never seen this, never heard of this. I pick up a few. I talk about it in the video, and there it is. Okay. Got this. Uh, I've actually read a few stories out of this, short stories out of this, because they've been published ever, elsewhere. There's uh, one, life, um, provided by, one Life Provided by Michael Moorcock. i got to get that right. Do, do, do. Oh, a lot of short stories in this one. One Life, furnished by Early Moorcock. This was in uh, an Elric book called Tales of the Weird uh, Weird Wolf. But anyway, Neil Gaiman's Shadow, Smoke and Mirrors, Smoke in Mirrors. A bunch of short stories by him, quite a few. Always good to find that. And then I had these on DVD, and I used to have bootlegs of these, and I had official uh, first uh, you know prints of these and stuff, but I had to get them, even though I do have them. But I got, uh, for a dollar a piece, I got, uh, you know, VHS copies of Land of the Lost, and each one has two episodes, okay? So, volume four here with Holly on it has the episode of Elsewind and Split Personality, and these boxes are, like, pretty much perfect, um, you know, considering that they are, you know, just cardboard. Then you have to get the one with the sleigh stack, and this one has Circle and Zarn on it. Uh, you know, just the original Land of the Lost is just fantastic. But the Zarn, the Zarn was genius for this little show, man. Awesome. And then I got this, and I've got it in my VHS player over here, man. I got uh, episode three, Island in the Sky of Lost in Space. So there you go, man. And I heard that John H. Williams was the guy that uh, wrote the um, the uh, theme song for Lost in Space. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's kind of cool, carrying on the uh, sci-fi thing with him. So that was always cool to get. All right. So, now where am I? Yeah, so, and uh, the other thing we got is we went by Barnes & Noble, and they had this on sale for $8. Uh, so I got this. This is the last hardback I need of all the Watchmen books that kind of came out around the time of the movie. And uh, basically, I don't know to tell you to really go get this and stuff, but this is like unreleased art uh, by Dave Gibbons. 
early art. Uh, it's a bunch of, uh, it shows his uh, thumbnail sketches blown up and some things that he worked on. Um, you know, if you're an enthusiast, but I love this page. Uh, this is a page of the Watchmen drawn if it was at Marvel Comics in the 60s. Check that out. Move my finger. That is just freaking cool. You know, but, you know, stuff like that. So that was cool. Uh, of course, we have Dr. Manhattan. And we have, you know, there we go, the comedian on the back. But, yeah, this is Watching the Watchmen, Dave Gibbons, Chip Kidd, Mike Essel. So that was kind of cool to find. I'm, you know, pretty much complete now. Uh, then I had a Goodwill later on in uh, Westville, Virginia, which is I, I consider one of the weakest uh, Goodwills I've ever seen. But I walked in, man, and they had the Season 2 set of The Muppet Show. I don't, and, uh, yeah, it's even in the slipcase. Season 2 was for 5 bucks. Uh, even it comes out of the slipcase. The lighting is killing me. I hope this shows up better than what I'm getting here. And you open it up. You got the guest list on the back. Who's in, you know, for this season. This is just an outstanding season. And you get your four discs in there, which are, like, new. Um... Yeah, this season had Don Knotts, Zero Mistel, Milton Berle, Rich Little, Judy Collins, Nancy Walker, Edgar Bergen, Steve Martin, that, that's a hilarious one, Madeline Kahn, she's funny and everything, George Burns, Dom DeLuise, Bernadette Peters, who I still think's a hottie, Rudolph, uh, some dude, Elton John, Lou Rawls, Cleo Lane, Julie Andrews, J.P. Morgan, uh, Peter Sellers, I don't remember that one, that's going to be cool to watch one Peter Sellers. Uh, Petula Clark, Bob Hope, Teresa Brewer, John Cleese, so I'm there, and Cloris Leachman of Young Frankenstein. That is awesome. And then it has the features, the Muppets Valentine special, the Muppets on the Muppets, Weezer, and the Muppets Keep Fishing video. That's cool. I, that's cool to have that on there. Not like I can't you just pop that up on YouTube. Um, and then I found these for a quarter a piece. They were in the kids section. They usually charge 50 cents a piece uh, for the books. And when I got out to the car and looked, you know, they charged me a quarter piece. And that's because somebody tried to sell these in a yard sale. And they had a little 25-cent sticker on each of them that I didn't notice. But uh, we got the brilliant book of Bart Simpson, a trade. And, you know, what is that? The beefy book of Bart Simpson in trade. So, you know, I got some bongo comics in trade there. Very cool. And to wind this up... Um, there is a place in Hillsville, Virginia. Um, the job I had has got me driving all over the place. And there's a place called the Time Factory. And I never went in there because they fix clocks and watches and stuff. And I go in there, and then there's this back room, and they got all these books. They had a bunch of Edgar Rice, Bur Bureau, Edgar Rice Burroughs books of Tarzan and uh, Venus. Oh, one blank. You know, John Carter of Mars and the books of Venus and stuff. Some of them going all the way back to the 50s and stuff, right? So I look around, and all, anything that is soft cover is a dollar. Anything that is hard cover is five dollars. But they were having a sale to where it was half off of hard covers, right? So I look around, and I find this brand new Batman Vampire, which is the trilogy of uh, books that Kelly Jones and Doug Munch did of uh, Red Rain, Crimson Mist, and what was the other one? Dear God. It was a trilogy during the 90s of Batman becoming a vampire. And I think Joker becoming a vampire. Red Rain. Dracula. Bat yeah, Batman and Dracula. Red Rain. Batman Bloodstorm. That one I've never read. Batman Crimson Mist. So yeah, I had the trilogy of Elseworlds books right there for a buck. The multiverse. And then this is the one where I about fell down. So that, that, that one cost me a dollar. This one was two fifty. Batman and Robin. First print. Uh, hardback. Still sealed for two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, this is Grant Morrison doing uh, Dick Grayson as Batman and Damien as Robin. You know, first six issues, great series. I have almost all of them anyway, but this is kind of cool to have. So there you go. And uh, when I go to Heroes Con and stuff, I've saved this to the end. I'm going to be a little bit cheesy and stuff. I've said I was going to do this for years, but I was going to have a bunch of YouTubers on it and stuff. But people have come and gone. And, uh, you know, some, in some places the band has broke up a little bit and all that stuff. So uh, basically what I've done here is uh, I've come up with a bunch of flyers. Uh, subscribe to the Howler Mouse YouTube channel. And I, well, it's not showing up, but I've got to be part of the YouTube comic book community on there. Comic book reviews, hauls, collecting the memories. So I'll be giving these out, you know. 
made a bunch of those. Tried to get them in color, but the printer wouldn't work uh, at the library while I was doing this. Plus, they've been a quarter a piece that they came out in color. I about, you know, I should have done that. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, have a good time. If anybody sees me at uh, Heroes Con, give me a yell. Walk up. We'll take pictures. We'll talk. We'll bullshit. We'll eat. Uh, and I'll be there with a couple of buddies. So, yeah, man, be looking for you guys if anybody's out there and going to be there. And I'm being there. I'm, it's going to be on Friday. I'm, it looks like I'm just going on Friday. If I don't spend a lot of money, maybe I'll go on Sunday, too. I don't know yet. All right. Later, guys.